Hi, I'm Dennis with Indianapolis Auto Tours. I'm here today to give you an introduction to our auto tours. The story of Indianapolis' automotive heritage began in the summer of 1890 when Carl G. Fisher, James A. Allison, and Arthur C. Newby got together socially and the camaraderie grew as they became partners in business ventures that became the nucleus for Indianapolis's automotive industry and community. Newby founded the National Automobile Company in 1900. In 1904, Fisher partnered with Allison to form the Press Light Company to manufacture automotive headlight systems. Fisher formulated his idea for an American test track to stimulate the rapid advancement of automotive te technology and enlisted Allison, Newby, and Frank H. Wheeler to form the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Company in February 1909. The first official function at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway was the balloon races on June 5, 1909, when over 3,500 spectators saw the balloon race. Next up on the Speedway's agenda was a two-day motorcycle race on August 13th and 14th in the 10-mile match race, one of the competitor's tires blew to pieces and he slid on his back almost 100 feet over the rough, sharp gravel. Can you imagine that? On August 19th and 21st, the inaugural automobile races were run at the Speedway. In Thursday's 250-mile press light trophy race, a driver and a mechanic were killed in one accident. Fortunately, Friday's events went off without a hitch. During Saturday's wheeler Schiebler trophy race, one car blew a tire. The big racer plowed through the spectators. The riding mechanic and two spectators were killed and several others were injured. In the aftermath of the auto races, the Speedway officials paved the track with 3.2 million 10-pound paving bricks, and the brickyard was born. The new service held up well during the 1910 racing season, and Fisher promised bigger things to come for the next year. On Memorial Day 1911, the Speedway hosted the first in a long line of 500-mile races. This event became legendary. And at today's stage, the world's largest single-day sporting event, known as the greatest spectacle in racing. Fisher and Allison's Presolite Company was the first to build five buildings in the town of Speedway in May of 1913. In 1917, Union Carbide Company purchased the Presolite Company for roughly $9 million in cash and stock for Fisher and Allison. The morning after America declared war on Germany in 1917, the Allison Engineering Company was founded to produce aircraft engines and other war material. By 1943, in the midst of World War II, with the production of the 1,000 horsepower Allison V-1710 aircraft engine peaked, and the company employed 23,000 employees per producing 3,000 aircraft engines monthly. Today's story of Indianapolis is still housed in many of the buildings and homes from the auto pioneers. An auto tour can help bring some of this legacy to life. So why not experience some of this legacy today? pick up one of our brochures right here on the website or write me for more information. Thanks for visiting Indianapolis Auto Tour.